For today's lesson, we're going to be looking at rational numbers and how to compare and order rational numbers. So the first thing you're probably thinking is, what is a rational number? Well, we kind of already know what a rational number is, and that is it's any number that can be put into fraction form, where we're going to have one number on top of another. So let's look at some examples. The easiest way to make a number a rational number, let's say we have just a regular 6. Well, we know we can take any number and turn it into a fraction by putting it over 1. That's a simple one. But what if we have a number that's already a fraction? Let's say we have a negative 3 over 5. This can be made rational by rewriting it and making either the numerator or the denominator the negative integer. So I can do it this way. Or I could also do it this way. negative 3 over 5 or 3 over negative 5. Let's look at some more examples. What if we have a mixed number this time around? Say we have a negative 2 and 1 third. Well, we've learned in the past that when we have mixed numbers, we always like to turn them into improper fractions. So let's look at doing that. 3 is going to stay the same. If I multiply 2 times 3, I get 6. Add 1 to that 6. 7 over 3, but if we remember back to fractions before, negative. So let's go ahead and just make the numerator negative. Since my mixed number was negative, my improper fraction also has to be negative. There's one more to look at. And that's how do we make a number with a decimal rational. Let's say we had mm, 0 0.75. Five. Now, without going through the whole simplification process, I know 0 0.75, 75 hundredths, it's like having 75 cents or three quarters. Three quarters would equal 75 cents. Three out of four, your four being a dollar. That always helps me out. So now that we know how to turn various numbers into rational numbers, let's look at comparing and ordering a set of numbers. So let's take 4 and 1 fifth and the next number in our series will be a negative 3.6 so I have a mixed number and a decimal and let's also have another mixed number negative 3 8 ninths and finally our last integer will be a zero. So now what I want to do is take all of these numbers and I want to make them like and then I can compare them and see which one's the smallest because I'm going to put them in order from least to greatest. So the first thing I'm going to do is start changing these overs to make them look similar. So four and a fifth I can turn into an improper fraction. Five stays the same. Four times five, 20 plus one. And we get 21 over 5. Next one down, 3.6. I could turn it into a mixed number, which I'll then have to turn into an improper fraction. So it'll look like this one. And when I do that, I'm going to get 36 over 10, and it's negative. Now we have another mixed number. Turn it into an improper fraction. Get a negative 35 over 9. And 0 is pretty easy. I'll just put this 0 over 1. So now I can go back and look at these numbers because I turned them all into improper fractions. And I want to see which one's the smallest and which one's the largest. Well, I kind of get a hint because I notice that some of them are negative, one of them 0, and one of them is positive. So I'm going to guess that this positive number is going to be my largest, and it's also going to be to the right of zero. So I'm going to place my zero here. My positive number is going to have to come after it, so it was four and one fifth, which narrows it down to these two negative improper fractions. Well, if I have a look, 36 over 10, 35 over nine, which one is smaller? Well, this one is smaller. So this will be the very first number, and it was a negative 3 and 8 
over 9, which leaves us with one more, negative 3.6. And now I have all of my numbers in order, and I was able to do that by making them all like. And what I mean by that is I turn them all into improper fractions, and then I could compare to find least to greatest.